collapsing top as a bruiser or a straight up tank um, and his overall kit is meant to uh, fulfill this role now th this guy has like a really a cool gimmick in which he is able to transform into a bigger monstrous version of himself and that's be well that's the Mininar which you are the default mode and the Veganar the Meganar gains a lot of uh, Bruiser type abilities and tank abilities, while the Mininar is more mobile, has uh, longer range on his auto attacks, more attack speed, so he's he's more um, <clears throat> mobile in that re in regard. And you can see there you have a passive called ra Rage Gene, which gives you Fury as you are in combat, and when, you get, when it gets to 100%, it's when you can transform. Now the transformation can occur instantly if you press an ability, or it will take a couple of seconds uh, after you hit 100 to actually transform. So we'll see how that uh, we'll see that in a minute, and uh, we will see transformation. And the reason why he can be played as a jungler is because he has a pretty awesome passive on the W, which will give you additional damage on your every third attack based on the target's maximum health. So that destroys jungle monsters quite fast. Tank it! Why are you tanking this for me? Tank it a few hits. There it is. Thank you. Oh, that's a ton of damage. Thank you for that, team. Excellent, we got this pretty quickly. And now, uh, the rest of his abilities are pretty awesome as well, but this is the one that makes him a, an awesome, well, not an awesome, but a decent jungler, uh, or a decent clear of the jungle. Uh, so, for his first ability, as the uh, little Mar here is your boomerang. You saw me there, I, threw it, I just threw it. And basically, what it does is it gives you. Uh, a really long range skill shot that it will hit it a target and it will t turn back as soon as it hit it hits it so it will not actually hit a lot of minions and stuff like that it will just hit and maybe do a small AOE around that and go back if you catch it you have reduced cooldown on the ability again which is awesome I'm going, to go, I'm going straight to the red buff which is awesome and I highly recommend uh, highly recommend you do this you know, catch it as every time you can we got first blood in the mid lane that's awesome uh, it, the ability does slow, and it's, as the laning, laning Nar, it's an excellent, excellent ability for uh, harassing and farming from afar. And in, in the jungle, I just take one point to it, and I don't really max it. You know what? Put, top is pushing a lot, so I'm gonna concentrate on farming this, uh, getting that level four. So I'm gonna get an extra point into the W here, so it's uh, faster. Mm -hmm, good job. And when you're the Mega Nar, uh, it actually throws a boulder which you can also pick up and it will reduce the cooldown again and it will actually do a good amount of damage. I should be kiting here a little bit. There it is. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about the boomerang, it, it does reduce damage uh, to the su subsequent uh, targets that you hit at, by, a, by 50% and you cannot hit a target multiple times. So it's only one hit, uh, one hit per target. And that's pretty much it. The next ability, I already talked about the three, three hit passive, and and when you we also gain <clears throat> not only do you gain the damage on the target, you also gain a burst of speed, which is pretty awesome. And the Mega Nar gives you a we're gonna cast it right now a line skill shot that stuns enemies and it scales off AD. And since I will be uh, maxing this first, it will actually give me a good amount of, of, of damage and low cooldown on this when I transform. So pretty awesome to have this at your disposal. And your next ability is your E. Your E is a small leap that gives you attack speed uh, when you're in the mini NAR form. And you also are able to jump additionally. So if you hit a unit, it doesn't have to be a ally unit or enemy unit. It can be any type of unit. You will gain a, a little bit more jump. There it is. And the second jump actually gives you... Uh, has a scaling, HP scaling on the damage. So that's pretty awesome to have uh, on the ability. Although it's pretty hard to aim, you have it there and it's important that, that you do. And when you're the big NAR, it's just a regular jump that will do damage based on your max health as well, and it will slow enemies around yourself. So that's pretty awesome to have. He's about to transform. But we can probably do something here. Here we go. Oh, nice jump there. You have excellent uh, chasing. No, no, no. Go in here. Go in here. He's about to transform, dude. It took too long to help me, so we're done. I got him pretty low, so that's good. Your ganks are not the best, at least early on, and you two do a, a good job of balancing out the uh, your fury meter, your rage here, so you can actually transform in the appropriate time, which is not easy. Uh, I want to try out. I really like going tanky in this game, and I, I think I'm gonna go tanky because we don't have a tank in this game. We need we need me to be tanky, so I'm gonna go straight up to the spirit of the ancient golem, and I'll get damage after that, and I will 
I will probably get a giant spell after I get some AD because it, you, you want to use synergy with the aging golem as well. I have seen people go with Riggle's Lantern on him, it works well.